Okay, welcome back to another video on my channel. In today's video, we're going to be looking at Drive Club driving the BMW around Ascari Hills Raceway, track number two. Thought it was time I did another Drive Club video, as I've not done many recently, and I want to try and keep doing a variety on my channel, not just doing one game. Obviously, we will still be keeping Assetto Course and Project Cars as our main games to do set of videos and videos on, but I want to throw some arcade games, more arcade games in there as well, like not always concentrating on simulation games, as I like all kinds of racing games. So, we're going to start our lap. Basically, we, drove, we decided to go for a bit of a slower car, as there was someone in my esports team that was doing a um, challenge on this track, on the VR version, so I thought I'd just give it a go and see what was possible. Okay, so we're going to start our lap. We're going to go through a quick track guide for this car on this track. Um, just going through the basics. So we're going to look to brake as late as we possibly can into that corner, braking just before the kerb on the left, staying in fourth gear, using some of the kerb on the right-hand side there just to decrease our angle as we come out on the acceleration zone. Now, we're going to go straight out, straight through this corner, flat out, taking as much kerb as we can whilst keeping the car from going on the gravel that will slow us down. So we take that reasonably nice air. We're going to look out now for the braking zone on the right, which is the white, last white board on the right. And we're going to brake down into third gear and try and keep the line as straight as possible. On the exit there, we've got a little bit of oversteer and the back end come a bit loose. Lost us probably two to three tenths at least there. And then we go into the next one. We're going to try and chuck it in in fourth gear, but we need to get it back over to the right-hand side as soon as possible. This is so we can decrease the angle for this left, these two left-handers so we can pretty much take them flat out, as you can see there. Hitting the kerb really nice and using the kerb on the exit, staying in fourth gear, then into fifth gear. And then we're going to look out for our next braking zone, which is on the bridge. We're going to brake just down into fourth gear, slide in using the kerb on the left. So we just skim each kerb. As you can see there, we use the width for the track on the outside as well. Braking down into fourth gear for this corner now. Staying in fourth gear and on the power, nice and early, getting the getting the car to use all the track on the exit there and then we're going to come into the final corner where we downshift into fourth gear and chuck it in as much as we can using some of the dirt on the right just to widen the angle as well and then using the kerb on the exit there going into fifth gear as we come out the exit and going over the line for a 127.7 which is the top time on the leaderboard but this was only a very quick lap and there will be a lot faster possible. I think you'll be able to get this into a 126 if you really pushed it. But like I said, I just wanted to get a video together and put myself on the top of the leaderboard again for another track. Anyway, guys, I'll leave you with the replay camera from the um, TV style cameras. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll be back with more Drive Club, more Assetto Course and more Project Cars videos very soon. Thanks again for watching.